Is your IRA or 401k a pathetic, wimpy excuse for a retirement plan? Are you worried that you'll be working into your 80s to support yourself and your spouse because your retirement funds aren't working hard enough for you? Do you worry about government debt, runaway inflation, and higher taxes? Does the thought of retiring in rural Florida, eating dinner at early bird specials, keep you awake at night? I believe that most Americans are in for a huge shock in the next few years. Most will lose a lot of money. The good news is that it is fairly easy and inexpensive to protect yourself and even multiply your retirement plans over the next few years. But I strongly recommend you take the necessary precautions below before all of those steps become difficult, expenses, or even impossible. Hi, I'm attorney Bill Bronchick, and I've helped tens of thousands of people create incredible wealth through real estate investing, many through tax-free retirement plans, and I'd like to help you too. If you have a Roth IRA, 401k, or other qualified retirement plan, it's probably withering away in some mutual fund earning 4% a year. With inflation at at least 5%, maybe even more, and likely to increase over the next few years under the weight of enormous government debt, you are losing money if you are not earning at least 5 to 7% annually. And that's just to keep up. If you want to retire early and prosperous, you need to earn 20% or better annually to make it happen. Now, when I say 20%, most people are shocked because they're so used to getting 5% or less on their investments. That's because they are letting other people manage their nest egg. When you hand your money over blindly to someone else, you'll soon discover that the only one really making any money is the person you paid to manage it. You have to be willing to take control of your retirement and take back your financial future for you and your family. Here's a simple example. Suppose you are 40 and you contribute $6,000 a year into a retirement plan for 22 years and earn an average of 5% return annually. At 62, you have saved about $240,000. That's woefully short, and even worse, it's in today's dollars. Imagine what $240,000 is going to be worth 22 years from now. Well, let's take the same example, but plug in a 20% return. The same $6,000 a year gets you to about $2.3 million. So you see, it's not that you're not contributing enough or you're not starting enough. You just aren't earning a high enough rate of return on your money. So now you're probably wondering, how can I get 20% annual or better without risking my money? Simple. Invest your retirement funds into high-yielding investments like real estate. Here are some examples. Real estate rental properties, commercial property, vacation condos, raw land, fix and flip properties, private real estate loans, county tax lien certificates, partnership syndications, and much, much more. Here's a very simple example of how you can buy real estate in your IRA. Let's say your IRA buys a foreclosure property worth $100 for $80,000. Your IRA will own the property and rent it out for, say, $10,000 a year in net income. That's about a 12% annual return, which isn't bad. But after two years, if your IRA sells the property for $100,000, that extra $20,000 in profit pops the total return up to 20% average annually. You see, 20% returns in your IRA are entirely possible and not terribly risky. And real estate is only scratching the surface. You can buy precious metals, invest in startup companies, factor cash flow streams, do private placements, and so much more. In fact, the only two things you can't legally buy in your IRA are collectibles and insurance. That's it. So now you're wondering, why didn't my big custodian tell me this? If it is legal to buy all this stuff in your IRA, why aren't all the large institutions offering it? Well, that's a very simple answer. They don't make any money from it. Think about it. Why do large companies like Fidelity and Schwab host your IRA for so little, often free? Because they correctly assume that you're probably going to invest your IRA into their mutual funds, which they make a bundle from, of course. If you tell them you want to buy real estate, they can't make a commission off that because they're not your real estate broker. And there's no profit in managing real estate for you either. So don't expect your current IRA custodian or local bank to tell you about this strategy. Okay, so how do I make this happen? Well, step one, you're going to open a new IRA account with a smaller, more boutique custodian that can handle investments outside the realm of securities and will allow you to self-direct into a broad range of assets. These custodians do charge more per year to host your account than the big ones, but when you're getting returns of 20% or more, it's a paltry sum by comparison. Step two is you're going to roll over your existing IRA 
Roth or 401k or other retirement plan to your new self-directed IRA account. Now, at this point, you can direct your new custodian to invest your funds in real estate and other non-traditional assets. However, there are some practical applications that become cumbersome because the transactions move very slowly with these small boutique custodians. There's no, quote, click to trade. You're going to have to fill out a form and fax it in every time you want your custodian to write a check or deposit a rent check from one of your rental properties. So we've created an easy solution called the Checkbook IRA. Essentially, we figured out an easy way for you to have complete control over the operation of your IRA account without violating any self-dealing rules. So step number three, we create a single purpose LLC, limited liability company, which will be owned by your new IRA account. So your IRA is now the member of this single purpose LLC. Step four, your new custodian will wire the money from your new IRA account to the LLC's checking account. And then the last step, five, you are appointed as manager of the LLC, which gives you control of the checkbook. Now, as manager of the LLC, the investments go in and out of the LLC instead of in and out of the IRA account. It's very important for you to understand that you cannot take a salary as the manager of this company or transact any business with any disqualified parties. We will educate you more on this when we get started with the transformation of your IRA account or other retirement account. When you reach retirement age, which is 59.5, and you are ready to take out a distribution out of your account, now your LLC distributes the money back to your IRA account and you take a distribution from the custodian. In the meantime, you have full checkbook control of your self-directed IRA account to buy things like real estate, discounted mortgages, tax lien certificates, and much much more. To get started, please fill out the form below and we'll schedule an appointment by phone to discuss how you can take control of your retirement and your financial future. Don't wait. It's only a matter of time before the government will shut down this incredible tax-free vehicle for growing your nest egg into a giant golden goose.